Hi guys, today I'd like to introduce you to Lola. She is the three-year-old French Bulldog. And French Bulldogs are very prone to a condition called intervertebral disc disease, more commonly known as IVDD. About a week before her injury, Lola started to have difficulty on the stairs and controlling her back legs. This unfortunately progressed into a veterinary emergency where Lola had to have emergency surgery on her spine to remove pressure on the spinal cord from a disc that had slipped out of position. I'd like to introduce you to Lola's owner who's going to give us a little bit more insight into this condition. Lola was crazy, ball obsessed, loved the park, straight to the big dogs in the park, no fear super well behaved like her first walk of the day was the best no not at all uh except for knowing that dash hounds have some back issues but i didn't know what it was called i didn't know that other dogs got it so nothing not knowing that she was going through it basically until the very end beating ourselves up that we didn't clue on to little things like not jumping on the bed anymore, not really wanting to come upstairs, not knowing earlier, basically. Reassurance, seeing her be more herself <laughs> is the best thing. Coming to physio has just been awesome because we have noticed that she's improving in things. All the exercises are super easy um, and not treating her so preciously like you guys giving us the reassurance that she's you know she's okay she, everything's okay support your dog in standing with your arm under their tummy as shown in the video ensure both paws on the hind legs are correctly placed on a non-slip surface gently pinch the skin between your dog's toes we want to see or feel your dog move their leg away from the pinch. This shows us that they have sensation in their legs and some degree of voluntary movement. The presence of deep pain is a very important prognostic indicator for regaining movement after severe spinal injury. Support your dog in standing with your arm under their tummy as shown in the video. Gently move your dog's leg in a circular movement which mimics the action they would do when running. We are trying to wake up old movement patterns which have been lost as a result of their injury. As the paw moves over the non-slip mat, we are providing stimulus for the nervous system to react to. Gently squeeze their toes to encourage the leg to bend as you perform these movements. Gently bend and straighten the joints of your dog's hind legs. This will minimize stiffness and pain while they are recovering. Also perform regular massage of the thigh muscles as shown in the video. Gently massage the apaxial muscles on both sides of the spine as shown in the video. Be extra gentle in the region of the scar. Spinal massage helps increase blood flow, decreases pain and stimulates the sensory receptors to help your dog's nervous system recover from the trauma. Gently bend and straighten the joints of your dog's paws and legs. This will minimize stiffness and pain while they are recovering from their injury. Also perform regular massage of the shoulder, chest and forearm muscles. When dogs have hind limb paralysis, the muscles in their front end become very overactive and can get sore, so pay special attention to these areas on a daily basis. Support your dog in standing. Gently transfer their weight from side to side. 
then move them gently from back to front. Support your dog at all times, but we do want to see if they can start to support their own weight, even if it's only for a second or two. This will take time and practice, but is essential towards getting them independently mobile. Remember to move slowly at all times and keep your dog well supported throughout these exercises. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you wish to see some more.